Now here we have my Traxxas X Max 8S. Now this is kind of like my Shelf Queen one stroke, the one that I use uh, for doing water crossings with. So this one doesn't really get beaten, but it does have almost the same modifications as my Beta X Max, uh, with only really one slight difference. So I'm going to be putting a link down below to where you can get this car from and also all the modifications and accessories that I run with this truck. So the only real difference with this truck is that I run it on the stock motor that comes with this car. On my Beta X Max I run a 1600 kV motor that gives it more RPM, more speed, more power but it does make it run hotter. With this needing more torque to get over water I've opted to stay with the stock motor. And then for the water crossings I run it on these paddle tyres here. Here. So starting off at the front, I'm using the Sen hinge pins and I'm using them there and then coming over to the rear, I'm using them here, here and here. Although this one here is a little bit too long but it doesn't really cause any issues. Alternatively, RPM make similar sort of things and they're going to be a little bit easier to source. So I'm going to be putting a link to those down below. So moving down the chassis, you can't see it but on the inside I'm running the Traxxas upgraded servo and then moving slightly further down I'm running it on a Hobbywing Max 6 ESC. Uh, so these offer a little bit more power and a little bit more reliability over the Traxxas unit and then I'm using these XT 90 battery connectors. So on one of my water crossings I did have some steel gears in here, uh, steel pinion and steel spur gear and I stripped them twice. So I'm now running, uh, well get that cover off and I will show you. So I'm running these mod 1.5 gears and these are supplied by Wheel Hobbies and I'm going to put a link to where you can get these from down below. And here's just a small comparison of a mod 1 gear that the X-Max comes with and the mod 1.5 gear uh, that Wheel Hobbies supply. So at the time of making this video I have not ran these across water yet uh, but I will keep you updated and I will let you know how they go once I run them but I'm expecting them to run absolutely perfectly. Then coming back round to the rear again I'm running these RPM rear hub carriers. So I'm running stock differential oils and stock suspension settings. And then I've covered the whole entire truck with this MO94, let it sink in for a couple of days and then wiped it off. What this does is it absorbs itself into the plastic and it makes the plastic more flexible which makes it better for bashing. But if you're going to do this then you have to do the hinge pin conversion where, where it nut and bolts it together otherwise you're just going to keep pinging out where the plastic's more flexible. Alternatively you can use WD40. And the more you put on it and the longer you let it soak in for the more durable because the more flexible the plastic's going to be. Now I don't put too much over the chassis and over the electrics I kind of focus it mainly on the suspension arms and on the hubs and all that kind of stuff. Another little mod that I do and I do this before I put the WD-40 on there is to put uh, like a little screw through these holes in here where the steering posts are uh, and then kind of epoxy it in or hot glue it in because I've broken these off before and now since I've been doing this modification it hasn't broken yet. Oh, subscribe. Battery wise I run it on these four cell ZOP powers. These have been giving me loads of power, loads of punch, have been super reliable and they're also dirt cheap. So link to those down below. And to charge them up I use this Dynamite Profit Sport Quad Charger. It's got four banks so you can charge four different batteries all at the same time. And then I've got this handy little battery capacity checker here just so you can see how much power is left in the battery. Now when it comes to running this thing on water I have done a little bit of or attempt, attempted to try and waterproof it a little bit. So I packed more grease into all the differentials than normal and I'm using this marine grease here. And then all the bearings I've popped the shields off and I filled it up with that same grease. And then I've put holes in all the voids, so in the diff cases, in the gear case, and anywhere else where there's a void, I've put a hole. And then the idea for that is, is that I'll put a piece of tape over that, and then once I get it into water, I can pull the tape off uh, afterwards and let it all dry out. Now obviously you need to run it on these paddle tyres, otherwise you're not going to get the grip on the water and it's going to run out of speed and sink. And if you're only going to drive it on water, the stock gearing is going to be good. I've put on this Mod 1.5 because I was trying to jump it on water and as it landed, it put so much power through the system that it smashed up the transmission. And that is pretty much all you need to do to make it run on water. Now I've opted to leave the wheelie bar on this one. I prefer running the X-Maxes with the wheelie bar off because I just prefer the way you can do wheelies and stuff. Uh, but for this, because it's driving on water, 
I don't really want it wheeling and backflipping in water, so I've left it on. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get this thing to drive on water. Now with a body shell, I filled it up with some pool noodles just to make it float, just in case it does stop, so it doesn't sink to the bottom of the river. So now with all this stuff in here, it's going to make it float if the worst happens and it just kind of sits there. And just a GoPro mount up top to capture some of the footage. So there's going to be links down below to where you can get the car from, all the modifications, all the upgrades and all the accessories that I've run on this truck. So next, I'm going to run a few clips of this thing driving on water and then I'll see you over in another video. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you made it! Way! I reckon I could do a whole loop on there, you know. That was almost a full loop. I'll do it one more. Here we go. Hey, check it out. <laughs> what do you reckon, Vince? <laughs> On a full loop of this lake, it's only a small lake that's minging. You definitely don't want it to fall in there. But I'm going to call it a day with that because I'm happy it hasn't gone in. And I definitely don't want to be rebuilding it. So now we're just going to carry on with just doing some normal, regular bashing. <laughs> 